baby some of these shoes are not made for walking literally they're not made for walking they're made for sitting pretty and looking cute Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shatasha, aka your city cousin. For those of you who are new here, welcome all the pretty and city girls from all over the world. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on so that you get all of my new bougie content. Oh my goodness, welcome back. Happy New Year. It's been a minute. I know, I know. Y'all are probably like, girl, where you been? So the last y'all saw, it was Vlogmas, and your girl caught the Omarion. <laughs> It was so sad, y'all. It was so sad. Like, it ruined all of my Christmas and New Year Eve plans. And I was just so irritated. But nonetheless, we survived. We're healthy. We're back. We're good. And I'm just glad that I was able to get through COVID again. <laughs> so, in the midst of catching COVID, I also had to take a little break because work had me like so busy and i was just like oh my god like y'all are stressing me out so i am happy to be back here with my cousins and show y'all some of the nice things that i recently got like around christmas and just catch y'all up with some things that's been going on so as y'all can see from the title of this video this is the mini little christian louboutin haul and it features a couple pairs of shoes that i got for christmas and then a bag that i got for christmas so i am so excited let's hop right in Alright girls, so I love me some Mr. Christian Louboutin and nothing says expensive like that luxurious red sole on the bottom of your shoes. Like, I specifically wear my Louboutins like on date night when me and babe go out, honey, I be serving, okay? Like, I like to serve. So, everyone is familiar with the So Kate, the nude shoe, and it's just like a staple in his collection. So I decided that I wanted to get a nice nude bag, like a nice nude clutch to match my nude Louboutin. So I have two pair of shoes already that are of the nude family. Y'all see me wear those shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know which Louboutins I'm talking about. So I decided that I wanted to get like a nice little clutch to go with them. And Babe actually bought me this. So this is my Christmas gift from my husband. And it is the nude patent leather luby 54 clutch i believe that's what it is if not you know it's in the description it's in the title you know the exact name of it so it is in the nude patent leather and i absolutely love this bag like it is so cute it's patent leather so yes my fingerprints are probably all over it by now but it's because i've been playing with it and trying to see how i style it so it comes with the silver hardware and it has like a pretty thin chain on it and then it has the leather strap which the new patent leather on one side and the red signature christian louboutin on that side and then it has the shoe right here on the end of it so this technically is my second christian louboutin bag um y'all saw one of my reviews already where i reviewed the christian louboutin tote and i'll tag that up there so you guys can go back and watch it but I wanted to get like a nice evening bag and it is pretty small but it's not as small as like my Balenciaga wallet on a chain bag because this is not a wallet on a chain. This one actually has some good space in it so when you open it it has the Christian Louboutin here and it's like um, indented in the bag. And then even though this is all patent leather on the inside of the bag it's actually leather so it's not the patent leather. And then I'll take the paper out. And we have that beautiful signature red on the inside of the bag. So as you can see, it has like the card um, slots here. So that's great. Put your credit cards in. You don't have to worry about taking your card case. And then it also has space. So aside from like my cards, I can definitely fit my phone in here, my Chanel mirrors, some lip glosses, a pen, um, hand sanitizer because baby COVID is real and it's still out very much so in the A. And then maybe even like some eye solution for my contact lenses. So I think this is very useful. It's very beautiful. And it's going to definitely be a staple to have to wear with like multiple items. Even if you're not wearing it with just the Louboutin shoes, 
you can wear it with whatever in the new brown family i think this is such a cute nice bag to have um the patent leather probably get on my nerves because i'm gonna have all of these smears on it but at the end of the day you could just wipe it with a cloth and keep it moving so you can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can put it across your body and wear it as a crossbody bag. But what I like to do is like double my chains and then put like the strap on the inside and have it like this and wear it inside of my arm like that. So I'll show you girls different types of ways to wear it. But yes, yeah, so overall, this is such a cute little bag. Again, I just wanted like a small like clutch bag for evening wear. I, I don't really like bags that are too big. I don't like to do the most. You know, when you're cute, you're dressed up, you're feeling sexy, you looking sexy. You just want something to throw like your little basic essentials in, the basic items you need when you're out. Like all of that other stuff, you could save that for the bigger bag. But this is date night, so we just need to keep it cute, keep it small, and keep it light. So I absolutely love this. Babe did a great job and I am so grateful. Thank you, baby. All right, ladies. So moving on to the shoes because y'all know I love me some shoes. So both pair of shoes are sandals. I know it's wintertime. I mean, literally, we just had snow outside yesterday. However, these shoes are very hard to come across in certain sizes. So when I saw that they had restocked on the Christian Louboutin website, I knew I had to snatch both of them up because I was literally about to buy a pair of Tom Ford shoes, another pair of the Padlock shoes in new. But I was like, why would I pay that much for those shoes when I can literally get two pair of Louboutin sandals and it'd be around the same thing? So... That's exactly what I decided to do. So the first pair of Christian Louboutin sandals that I bought were the Louis Queen um, in a size 39.5. And they are in the color nude. And it is the Napa leather material. And the heel height of these are the 120 millimeters. So a 39 is my usual size. However, I had ordered these once before in a size 39 in black. And they were like the perfect fit. But when you walk and your feet start to slide, my toe was kind of going off of it. So I sent those back to get a size 39 and a half and they were sold out in 39 and a half. So that's why I had to buy these and snatch these up in the fall slash winter time because baby in the summertime, a good look finding your size. So here are the shoes and they are just so freaking adorable. Such a classic, classy shoe. And you can wear this shoe literally with almost anything. So it has your toe strap here, and then it just has your basic ankle strap here. And it just goes around your ankle like this, and it has the crisscross in the back. So nothing too complicated, very simple. Um, I didn't have to put any extra holes in the strap because I do have like um, smaller ankles, even though I have thick legs and thick calf muscles, you know, <laughs> girl on the thick side, <laughs> I did not have to add extra holes in the ankle part of the straps. So that was great. And of course you have that beautiful red lacquer on the bottom down through the heel of it. My shoe probably have a little bit of like strings cotton from it because I have been walking around on this pink carpet. So it's like getting in the middle of this, but whatever. But anyway, so it's a nice, classic, simple shoe. And I have worn these around the house. Obviously, I still have a sticker on it. But I have, like, just worn them around the house on the carpet just to see, like, how comfortable they are. And these are pretty comfortable. So I haven't worn them out in public yet. But for my initial walk around the house, they do seem like they're pretty comfortable. I have heard women say that these were pretty comfortable to walk around in and to actually wear all day. So I'm looking forward to that because I wanted to have, like, a nice designer shoe that's not just for dinner you know what I mean because some shoes are literally dinner shoes you put them on you go sit down and you look cute they're comfortable enough for you to walk from your car to the door to your seat <laughs> other than that baby some of these shoes are not made for walking literally they're not made for walking they're made for sitting pretty and looking cute all right so the next pair of shoes I bought are the Jenna Tina's and the 100 millimeter heel so maybe 100 is 4 inches and then the 120 is 5 inches. Anyways, so these are the Genatinas in the color black and transparent because they do have a clear strap on them as well. And this is in the Napa Shiny color. So obviously it's just black. Girl, it's black. 
All right, ladies, so here are the Genetina sandals, and it is in the black Napa leather with the PVC strap on the heel towards ankle part, and I think these are so cute. So, here's a close-up on the shoe, and again, it has like your basic toe strap across the top but then when you get up here to like the heel there's this pvc strap that'll come around the back of your heel and then you have this nice ankle strap here and it's different so this one actually has like little bullet um holes on it so that you can like just push this piece through and I think that's pretty cool. So it's three holes on it and you adjust it based off of like, I guess, you know, your ankle size. And I had it on a two when I was trying them on, but I actually might need to tighten it and put it on the third and make it the tightest just so that it is more of a comfortable fit. So I think this shoe is actually pretty formal. I will wear this a lot with like dresses, skirts, things like that. I don't know if I would do it with jeans, maybe leggings, and it still would be probably like a dressy look. Um, I'm sure you can dress it down. You know, if you know how to do it, do it well, okay? But me personally, I definitely don't think I'll be wearing these with like jeans or anything. So this one also has some of my carpet on it, but nonetheless, it's okay. <laughs> All right, the camera died if anything looks different. But as I was saying, so again, I think this shoe is so nice, simple, and it'll definitely go with a lot of things. Um, this heel, again, is definitely not as high. So this is the 100 millimeter. So you can kind of see the difference between the 100 millimeter and then the 120. It's just slightly higher. And again, I think that the 100 is a 4 inch and I think that the 120 is a 5 inch heel. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's something like that. But again, I don't think neither one is very high. So I did walk around in the Genetinas as well and they were pretty comfortable. I don't think I'm going to have issues with this one either. Um, again, they're both in a size 39 and a half. So I think they're both like very timeless, classy shoes. So of course, both of these shoes can be worn in many types of ways to many different occasions. Date night, girls nights, brunch, lunch, dinner, breakfast, everything. I'm going to wear them for everything, okay? <laughs> um, oh, so do I cover my red bottoms? Now, when I first bought my first pair of red bottoms, I did do the whole clear coat on the bottom so that you don't mess it up. But that shit was slippery. So I would be out at dinner. We'll be at like restaurants and stuff. And I'll go to the bathroom. And girl, I'll be sliding. And that is not cute. It is not cute to be sliding. Thinking you're cute with your red bottoms on. Through the halls of the restaurant. So. I don't cover my red bottoms anymore. I am going to obviously take the sticker off of these. And I am going to walk the sole of these in. So that it does mess the bottom up. Not mess it up. But you know it just walk on it. So that it creates the friction. So that when I am walking I'm not sliding. So I no longer cover my red bottoms. Now if they get to a point to where they become worn. Eventually I will get the red rubber to put on the bottoms only. But I will not cover these shoes. I'm going to wear them because I bought these shoes to wear. So. <laughs> All right, ladies. So there you have it. I hope you ladies enjoyed this Christian Louboutin mini haul. Now I can feel all luxurious and expensive going into 2022 because they be. The way my 2021 ended, I deserve to cut up. Okay. I deserve to cut up. Once I get through like this busy period at work. Oh, I'm about to hit the streets again. Me and Babe back outside. Just, just give us a minute. Just, just give us a minute. By February, we got y'all. We got y'all in February. <laughs> but if you ladies have any questions about any of the products that I went over today, if you have any questions or if y'all have some of these products yourselves, let me know how you wear it. Like, how do you take care of your Christian Louboutin shoes? Let me know if y'all ladies have any of the Christian Louboutin bags because I want that Paloma bag with the black, um... It's mostly black leather and then it has like the spikes on it, but it's not the spikes, more so they're the studs. And then I actually almost bought this other bag. It was a Paloma as well, but it's the one that had like all the Christian Louboutin hardware on it. So like the little spikes and then the Christian Louboutin logo and like some other pieces, but it was on like a um, nude crocodile leather. And it was, I think it was patent leather too, but it wasn't as dark as my bag. It was a little bit lighter. So I think the Paloma bags are really cute. And then I also plan on buying one of the card cases with the studs on it. Because I just think 
they're so cute. Um, I'm going to get the black one with the studs on it. Sats currently has it for pre-order, but it won't ship out until May. So I was like, well, ain't no point of just buying it right now. I might as well just wait. So I'm going to see what they come out with with their spring summer collection because they're starting to release it. Now is the time that all the brands start to release their upcoming collections. So I'm going to see what they have this summer. But again, if you ladies have any products in your Christian Louboutin collection that you would recommend, please let me know below in the description. And thank y'all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.